Welcome back to this YouTube channel where I present exercises for actuarial exams. Uh, this is an exercise for exam P, probability. You have some information about the uh, study manual that I wrote for exam P, the BTDT manual or Binder Danda. Also, um, adaptive online practice exams based on the manual available from the actuarial bookstore and information about uh, the actuarial program at Illinois State University. If you would like to support our students, uh, please uh, make a donation. It's tax deductible. And uh, let's start studying. This is an exercise I posted uh, in March 2005. Um, the story is as follows. An orange contains 100 lottery tickets. There is one ticket that wins $50, three tickets that win $25, six tickets that win $10, and 15 tickets that win $3. The remaining tickets win nothing. Two tickets are chosen at random, with each ticket having the same probability of being chosen. At x be the amount 1 by the 1 of the 2 tickets that gives the smaller amount 1. If both tickets win the same amount, then x is equal to that amount. Find the expected value of x. So as you can see, this is relatively basic calculation of an expected value of a discrete random variable. And when you have a discrete random variable, unless you know what it is, the instinctive approach should be let's write out what the possible values are and what their probabilities are and then just calculate the uh, probability weighted average of those values that the random variable assumes. That's what we're going to do. So let's see what kind of values does this random variable have. First let us note that you cannot have x equal to 50 because there's only one $50 ticket and you're looking at the smaller of the two tickets. So the possible values are 25, 10, 3, and 0. Again, this approach of listing possible values and then we're going to figure out their probabilities. When is x equal to 25? When we choose one $50 ticket and one $25 ticket or when we choose two $25 tickets and we need to figure out the probabilities of those, so let's figure out the number of ways to do that. Well, if we choose one $50 ticket, then that's one out of one available, so there's only one way to do this, and then this additional $25 ticket is one of the three. So three choose one is the number of ways to do that. So the total number of ways to pick one $50 ticket and one $25 ticket is one choose one, which is one $50 ticket out of one available, and we choose one $25 ticket out of three available, so that's times three choose one. When we choose two $25 tickets, we simply choose two out of three available and there are three choose two ways to do this. The total number of ways to choose two tickets out of 100 is 100 choose two. So the probability of getting what we want is the number of ways of getting what we want, which is in the numerator that you see here, divided by the total number of ways that two tickets can be chosen. So the probability of x is equal to 25 is 1 choose 1 times 3 choose 1 plus 3 choose 2 divided by 100 choose 2. And we just calculate those. The first thing is just 1 times 3, so it's really 3. Uh, 3 choose 2 is also 3. And 100 choose 2 is 4950. So the probability of this x equal to uh, 25 ends up being 6 over 4950 or 1 over 825. Then we ask what's the probability that x is equal to 10? Well, we need to choose um, one $10 ticket and one higher amount ticket or two $10 tickets. 
there are four tickets that have higher amounts, three twenty-five bucks and one fifty dollars. So we um, choose one of those and one out of six ten-dollar tickets. That's four choose one times six choose one. Or we choose two ten-dollar tickets and number of ways to do this is six choose two. And the total number of ways of choosing two tickets is again hundred choose two. And this calculates to be uh, 13 over th uh, 1650. What about x equal to 3? That means that we have one $3 ticket and one higher amount ticket, or two $3 ticket tickets. There are 15 $3 tickets, so choosing one of them, the number of ways to do it is 15 choose 1, and 10 higher amount tickets, 4 plus 6 from before. So 10 choose 1 times 15 choose 1, plus 15 choose 2, choosing two $3 tickets out of 15 available, and again divided by the total number of ways of picking two tickets, and this ends up being 17 over 330. Finally, the last possible value was 0. You get 0 as the value if you pick uh, one ticket with no winning, zero dollar ticket, and one other ticket, um, or two zero, zero dollar tickets. There's 75 zero dollar tickets, so it's 75 choose one of those times 25 higher amount tickets, uh, choose one of those, plus 72 five choose two, that's just choosing two zero dollar tickets, and again divided by 100 choose two. And this ends up being 31 over 33. And the expected value is, we just multiply each value by its probability. And zero, of course, is convenient. We don't have to really take that into account. So we end up with um, 87 over 330, or approximately 0.2636. That's answer C. And we have successfully done this problem. Remember that this is uh, copyrighted material. Uh, and also, please remember that you can ask me questions about uh, these uh, exercises I post. Good luck in your studying, and uh, good luck on the exam.